Anime Beauties. Okay, I'm filming a YouTube video in my office. I just wrapped up a really fun day in clinic and a long week. It's the end of a very long week, but a very fun week. Usually when I'm doing my YouTube videos, I'm at home in my sweats with my kids running around at my kitchen table, but I figured I wanted to just wrap this up and do a YouTube video in my office while I have a nice, you know, calm, quiet environment because it's going to be a three-day weekend and who knows what my household is going to be like. And I try to get one YouTube video out to you guys each week on topics that you ask me about. So you guys have so many great recommendations for topics to talk about in dermatology, cosmetics, cosmetic dermatology, skincare, but one that comes up a lot that I wanted to address today is what can we do for crepey skin and thin skin on the body? Because we always talk about the face, the neck, the chest, but we rarely really talk about treatments for the arms and legs and abdomen, especially after having kids and pregnancies and babies, you know, that skin can get wrinkled or crepey, and what we can do to help make that skin look its best and match the skin on our face, neck, and chest. So I'll talk about different things that we can do in the office, of course non-surgical because I'm a you know, non-surgical um, dermatologic specialist and um, I'm based mainly on lasers, energy-based devices, and even products and injectables that enhance your body's own regenerative systems to naturally build collagen and build elastin to tighten skin. So I'll talk a little bit about that. So I think it's important to understand why do we get crepey, wrinkly, thin skin on our arms, our legs, our abdomens, even our chest and our neck, and why does this happen? The reason why it happens is because we lose collagen and elastin in our skin. So the ground substance of the skin, the extracellular matrix where the cells live, all the dermal cells, the melanocytes, the keratinocytes, the Merkel cells, the fibroblasts, they live in this extracellular matrix that's chock full of proteins that give the skin this structural support. Babies have a ton of it. That's why they have huge, you know, chubby, beautiful cheeks, and when you pinch them, they just kind of are rubbery and they go right back to it. As you get older and you lose that dermal component of the extracellular matrix, you lose your collagen, you lose your elastin, the skin loses its thickness, the dermis thins, and the epidermis thins, and things get thinner. That's why we bruise easily or easily Easier on our arms and legs like when we bump something when we're older we'll get bruises whereas young people when they bump their back of their hands or their legs or their shins they don't get bruises it's because that dermis is thinner and it the little vascular the blood vessels don't have that structural support to kind of keep them from you know protected from being lysed or from breaking when you basically brush your hand up against something or knock something on your shin and you get a bruise it's because you don't have that structural dermal support to to protect those little vessels also, that's why the skin starts to look wilted and kind of starts to wither away and get thin and crepey. So what can we do to enhance collagen and elastin in the skin on the body to make it look its best, to make it tighter, to make it smoother, to make that texture kind of look like it did before? And the main component of anything that's gonna stimulate collagen and elastin is to enhance your body's own regenerative processes to do that. Now we can do that using topicals, even drugstore brand um, topicals can help with that. You know, you don't have to use a Retin-A or tretinoin. Number one, it can be expensive. Number two, those are usually prescription strength. And number three, those are usually probably too strong for that skin. But if you wanted to mix like a tretinoin or if you have some vitamin A derivative that you use on your face or an elegant formulation that you know you use on your face, you may want to mix it with you know a body cream or moisturizer um, you know that you can use over your whole body. But sometimes that's hard to do because you know that's not very much a pea-sized amount for a whole extremity or like an arm or a leg or the stomach. So what I usually recommend is getting an over-the-counter, something like Lacaid or amylactin, you can get it on Amazon, you can get it at Target. It has ammonium lactate in it, and it's a natural alpha hydroxy acid. It doesn't have to be like a vitamin A derivative that's, you know, a, you know cosmeceutical or um, an expensive prescription. You could just get good old amylactin or lacydrin. I think it's $12 for a bottle on Amazon or at a drugstore, and use that on your arms and legs, you know, once a day or twice a day. Sometimes if you use it after the shower, it can sting a little bit because it is an alpha hydroxy acid. It has a lower pH and it can sting, especially if you you shave your legs and then put it on afterwards, which I've learned myself, it makes it a little bit stingy. But if you wait, you know, a couple minutes after getting out of the shower, or if you want to put it on in the morning and say you shower and shave at night, that can help um, decrease that uh, side effect too. But it's something that you can use day and night to help exfoliate that dead stratum corneum layer off to debride those dead keratinocytes that can make the skin look wrinkled and withered. It also, and lactin or ammonium lactate as a natural humectant too. So it's part of, part of the natural moisturization factor. It's going to hydrate the skin and it's going to improve the appearance of the texture of the skin. Now, it's not going to be like groundbreaking like it would be if you did like a thermage or fraxel on your skin, but it's something that you can do day in and day out that's not going to cost a ton of money, and it's just a daily habit that you can get in to make the skin on your arms, legs, and the rest of your body kind of match your face or look a little bit better. Now, if you wanted to 
increase you know the technology in a body cream or body you know serum that you can use for the skin on your body elastin which is a medical grade um, skincare line which is a clean very highly innovative um, skincare line they have a body uh, a body serum called transform body transform and that one you can use for arms and legs and abdomen and it's been studied very well um, very well studied in uh, the dermatology community with um, well-powered randomized control studies showing that it increases collagen and elastin and can improve the texture of skin it also can reduce the appearance of cellulite on the buttocks and thighs as well but that's more medical grade you don't have to spend that much money you can't get a drugstore amlactin i guess like i said is another really great one so moving along to other off in office procedures we can do to tighten the skin so number one lasers so anytime we have lasers in the skin it is collimated light that dissipates heat it stimulates signal transduction cascades in the skin to make collagen to make elastin and more importantly to remove any degraded or dysfunctional collagen and elastin fibers that have been sun damaged or damaged from environmental pollutants or just aging. So it clears out the dysfunctional proteins, it synthesizes new proteins, and it basically makes the texture of the skin look a lot better. I have a lot of patients you know, who are um, with more mature skin, 50s, 60s, and beyond, who have done Fraxel on their arms and legs and abdomen, and they look so much better. Their skin can just turn around and just uh, you know increase the, 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 the texture quality to make it smoother, tighter, not as wrinkly and crepey. And then also it helps remove, you know, it's resurfacing laser resurfacing removes the surface layer of the skin where all the brown spots you know kind of that weather beaten look to the skin can get corrected too so it's kind of like a double benefit from just one treatment and usually you know you need anywhere from one to three treatments with the Fraxel usually spaced one month apart the downtime isn't bad you're a little bit red and almost sunburned looking for like four to six days but it actually um, isn't too bad with respect to the downtime and the results are amazing so usually my patients who are on their a skin game they do that Fraxel on their body once a year of course they they include their face in that too, but they'll kind of, you know, during the winter time or the winter months when they're not out in the sun and they want to reverse all the sun damage that happened during the summer and to get ready for the next summer, they do Fraxel on their arms, legs, chest, even abdomens too. So that's one way. So another way to stimulate collagen and elastin synthesis to smooth tighten the skin on the body is our energy-based devices. So what are energy-based devices? So these are devices that put heat into the skin in the form of different uh, energy. So it could be radio frequency, it could be ultrasound, it could be electromagnetic, it could be microfocus ultrasound, any way to get heat into the skin because our skin reacts to heat by stimulating collagen. This is a very extreme case, but it's important to kind of understand how does heat create tight skin. So what happens is if you've ever seen a burn victim or a patient who's had a burn, they have these thick plaque-like scars, but the scars, if you look at a biopsy under the microscope, are chock full of collagen. They look clinically very disfiguring these smooth plaque like almost keloidal scars but under the microscope they have a ton of collagen that's because the body reacts to heat by forming collagen so when you form collagen it also smooths and smooths and tightens the skin but you want to do it in a very controlled elegant manner thermage for example is one of my very favorite tightening devices and i have it here it's in the room next door and the reason why i have a thermage is because it's the tried and true the best energy-based device in my opinion i've worked at laser centers where we have hundreds of lasers and energy-based devices you know thermotite all therapy all of them and thermage always had the consistent most you know happy patients best outcomes one treatment, not painful, no downtime, and so I love it. So when we put heat in the in, in the skin in the form energy form of you know radio frequency, which is what thermage is, our fibroblasts get turned on and they make collagen and it helps tighten the skin. So you can think of it as kind of a very controlled wound healing environment. Now thermage isn't going to scar you because it keeps the top layer of the skin cool while the bottom layer of it gets heated up and it stimulates collagen synthesis, which helps lift, tighten, and pulls the skin. So it's really great for like lower face rejuvenation almost like a neck lift but when you do it on the arms the legs and the abdomen it helps tighten the skin there too so I do it very frequently on off the face and um, body surface areas as well and again usually one treatment it's good for about five months I'm sorry five years and the results are great and they're consistent and patients are happy and Thermosh has been around for a long time, but the reason why I like it, it's like saying, well, the iPhone's been around forever, but the iPhone 13 is a lot different than the iPhone 7, so it keeps getting better and they improve the technology each year. So that's another energy-based device, a non-surgical option for improving the texture of the skin on the arms, legs, and abdomen. So last but not least, which is not my area of expertise, but you could have you know surgical intervention or skin excision to remove excess skin. I usually don't do this because I'm a big proponent of 
gently and naturally enhancing your skin's regenerative processes to stimulate collagen and elastin, not just cutting and suturing. I mean, I'm a Mohs surgeon and a dermatologic surgeon too, but the answer is not to just cut the skin out and suture it because without having that collagen and elastin in the extracellular matrix, the skin's just gonna fall again. It's good to enhance your body's own collagen and elastin stores because over time, that will be more meaningful and will give you more longevity. And even if you had surgery, it's just gonna fall back down if you don't have collagen and elastin in your skin. So I've seen it in patients too, which is really unfortunate because people who have had surgery or skin excisions or you know reverse abdominal tummy tech and things like that and they're right back to where they started from a year ago if they're not doing things to enhance the regular collagen in their skin as surgeons we always joke around and we say it's like suturing wet toilet paper it's like if you suture skin that has a bunch of collagen and elastin and extracellular matrix proteins in it it's like suturing cardboard to cardboard it's sturdy it's steady those results last it bounces back it's resilient if you're suturing wet toilet paper together it's just going to fall and sag again over time because gravity unfortunately will always win unless you stimulate your body to make collagen and elastin to keep that smooth that skin smooth nice and tight so I hope this helps you guys. I've been wanting to do a video on um, smoothing the appearance of crepey skin on the body. And here you go. And that's a wrap for this week. Love you guys.